Hi friends, welcome to Shiva Sai for you basic electronics YouTube channel. So today's topic is uh, full wave rectifier. In that I am going to explain bridge rectifier. There are two types of full wave rectifiers. One is biphase rectifier, other one is bridge rectifier. Biphase rectifier completed in previous video. So other types of rectifiers are there. Uh, full bridge rectifier like that. Uh, different types are there. So in your syllabus they mentioned only two types: biphase and uh, bridge rectifier. So let me read the question. What they can ask? With a neat circuit diagram and waveforms, you explain the working of bridge rectifier without filter. Without filter means without smoothing circuits. Like that, we should explain. Now same question they can repeat this time. With filter they can ask. Okay. Question look almost to detail. Only slight changes they are going to make. With without filter I will explain. Later in the end I will explain. With filter, what happens? Okay, so this question asked me. Uh, you are the first batch of this particular scheme. Uh, already one uh, one exam is completed. Uh, this question asked for eight marks. Okay, guys. So next, uh, how to write this uh, bridge circuit? So comes very simple. So you make uh, four dots. Okay, in a rhombus uh, shape. Okay, and write a diode like this. Okay, this is anode. Here anode, all anodes connected to one end. Okay, and one more diode you write here. Okay, so these two diodes anode is connected to one point. Okay, remaining thing you can connect it here. Next anode cathode. Next you write anode. Okay, and cathode. Other side completely cathode should connect. Like that you should write. So from this point to this point, you connect diodes in series. Okay, from this point to this point, connect diodes in series. Finally, anodes connected to one end, and both cathodes should connect to another end. So now, from here, from this point to this point, load is connected. So this is connected to DC. Here we get pulsating DC output. Okay, from these terminals. Then where we need to give AC supply. Whatever we are giving, no AC. That AC we should give to these terminals. Okay, AC supply given to top terminal and bottom terminal. Okay, got it. Your transformer secondary should connect between from this point to this point. Okay, and the load is connected from this point to this point. Okay, got it. <coughs> so you can connect the load from here to here inside this uh, diode bridge. Otherwise, we can write that load outside the bridge. Both are correct. Understood. This is the concept. Keep in mind, connect both anodes at one point and both cathodes at one point. In between, there should be a series connection of diodes. Then, how to numbering the diodes? D1, D2, D3, D4. Okay. While you are biting, you write uh, diodes in other uh, different manner. Okay. See, right side diodes are odd numbers. Left side diodes are even numbers. Okay. Right side. Start with D1. Okay. And D3. Odd numbers only. After D1, D3. The difference should be two only. Already written D1. Now start from bottom side. Okay, D2 and then D4. See the same direction diodes in a proper sequence. D1 and D2. And other direction diodes are D3 and D4. Keep in mind while number giving numbers, the difference between top and bottom should be two. Okay, one minus three, two or three minus one, two. Four minus two, two. Two minus four, two. Okay, plus minus not required. Difference should be two. Like that you can remember. Okay, fine. This and all uh, simple uh, logics. So now I am going to explain this. Pause the video and then copy it down. Okay, fine. See now I am connecting this to our uh, load side. This point is what plus, and this point is what this point is negative. Okay, this point is what AC. What about this point AC? Okay, got it. Now, during positive off cycle, okay, during positive off cycle, terminal A will become positive, terminal B will become negative. So, positive off cycle, secondary transformer, secondary step down transformer. So, this is the voltage. Now, I am applying to this circuit. Keep in mind. So, when current starts flowing from, if the current starts from plus, okay, the same current should return back to this terminal B. Okay, that is your ultimate path. Okay, so now look at here. 
anode no this is anode this is anode you can mark it plus this is cathode negative this is cathode no negative this is anode positive this is anode positive this is cathode negative and here anode is positive cathode is negative now look at here correct to polarity should be there see plus is connected to plus this side minus is connected okay therefore this diode will not turn on so this diode will become what reverse bias it won't conduct next so plus is connected to plus minus is connected to uh, load resistor okay this is connected to load resistor and again it is connected so finally here so it should be proper sequence plus minus plus minus plus minus like that okay so this plus is connected to minus here after minus again it should connect to plus so anode is positive okay correct cathode is negative and see this negative is connected to negative finally we got power this side current will not flow this side current will not flow finally it should return back to the supply see plus and minus again here plus and minus is there finally it will come to this point circuit is should uh, current should return back to the source so therefore this diode will be reversed by us okay got it understood d1 d2 even number diodes are reversed by us during positive cycle only these two diodes will going to conduct diode conduct means we can write so d1 on okay d1 on and then d2 turn on d2 on so what is the path for the current flow look at here the current starts flowing like this current flows like this it flow like this and it will go like this okay and again it will return back like this again go up again it will come like this again finally return back to the source so mark the directions see now what is the current flow current is flowing into the resistor mark plus leaves negative so that is the polarity i am writing here okay so when our current flow through resistor this much voltage appear across the load positive cycle is appear so again current flows like this like this like this like this like this like this finally return back so where the current started same point current has to return back okay another terminal okay starting end and finishing end terminal if current starts from here that current should come back to this terminal for that this is the path okay got it understood guys during positive cycle d1 and d2 will turn on okay so we can write in wave forms so transformer secondary voltage is this one so we got this voltage okay so what is the condition for that d1 d2 on next during negative half cycle during negative half cycle see this is terminal a and this one is terminal b during negative half cycle okay during negative half cycle the terminal b will be positive and terminal a will be negative terminal a will be negative so let me analyze you mark all the polarities okay anode side you write plus cathode side you write negative anode or positive cathode negative so again here anode is positive cathode negative anode is positive cathode is negative so then how to analyze this circuit now look at here guys see this b terminal okay terminal b is connected till here okay after that it has to connect to positive of the diode that is anode terminal so plus is connected d3 it is connected to d3 it is correct polarity and minus is connected back to the source okay see plus should connect to plus look at here plus uh, at point b is positive that is connected if you go this side negative is there so therefore this diode will not turn on okay it become reverse bias okay this diode diode d2 open okay diode d3 turn on correct polarity so diode d3 will turn on so d3 on so next so like this now if, if i go to this side okay negative is there negative so that diode will be turned off okay that diode will be turned off turned off see plus is connected to plus minus after minus again i need plus so the plus is not available in this diode let me continue through the load so current uh, is entering current starts flowing through the load okay load is having some resistance rl same current is coming like this 
Okay. Now what is what I am searching? See, plus is connected here, minus is here. Next I am searching plus terminal. So I got it through the load. Okay, I got it here. I got it here. So this diode will turn on. Okay, this diode uh, D4 will turn on. Okay. D3 and D4 will turn on during negative off sector. However, see, start from plus. See the uh, path of current flow. See, current starts flowing like this. It flow like this. Flow like this. Like this, current flows. Okay, like this, the current starts flowing in the circuit. Understood. However, the current, whenever current is entering to the resistor, mark it plus, this negative. See, even though a negative off cycle is applied, the current flowing through the external load direction remains same. Therefore, the output across the load, we get again positive side. This, this voltage, okay, shift towards positive side. Got it? Because of same direction of current in the external load. Therefore, what we get? We get same output. But when we got this one, when D3 and D4 are on, like that, the same cycle will repeat, okay, each off cycle. Positive, D1 and D2 conducts, negative, D3 and D4 conducts. So like this, we can write, okay, what is this pulsating DC? That is called pulsating DC. I want to reduce this ripple. See, as per the question, you explain bridge, full, way, uh, full bridge rectifier, okay, without filter means, you write this, uh, this circuit, this circuit, and these two waveforms. Got it? With the filter means, now you connect, connect a capacitor, or connect a capacitor across the load. Connect a smoothing capacitor across the load. By connecting smoothing capacitor across the load, what we can get? Ripples, this ripple will get reduced. Okay. However, what is the ripple frequency? Again, in bridge rectifier, what is the ripple frequency? 100 hertz. Okay, if the supply frequency is 50 hertz, ripple frequency is 100 hertz. Means, for one cycle of input, we got two cycles of output. Over a period of one cycle, we got two cycles of output voltage. That is called ripple frequency, double frequency in this uh, analysis, circuit analysis. Okay guys, we got here. Now, during positive cycle, capacitor going to charge. Capacitor going to charge to peak value. Next, during negative off cycle, so during the transition from positive off cycle to negative off cycle, there is a some instant, all the diodes are off. Okay, at that time, whatever the stored voltage in the capacitor will going to provide voltage to the external resistor in the form of discharging. Okay, so therefore, that voltage, capacitor voltage decreases, again it reaches to maximum value, decreases, reaches maximum, decreases, reaches maximum, Okay, capacitor charges, discharges, charges, discharges, like this. So, with the smoothing, with filter, we get this waveform. If I use I value of capacitance, finally we can get like this. Okay, straight line, DC. Okay, still more I value, you will get capacitor charges very faster. Okay, at the zero only capacitor going to charge. That is actually ideally, practically it is not possible. Okay. At T is equal to zero, capacitor will not charge, immediately it won't charge. It takes some time. Okay, so the charging and discharging will depend on time constant of the circuit. Okay, preferably, generally the time constant is product of resistance and capacitance. The time constant denoted by tau, its value is R into C1. Okay, see this R indicates transformer winding, secondary winding resistance, diode forward resistance, and also load resistance all together including is R. Okay. So keep in mind, see if the ripple frequency is higher, we need less value of smoothing uh, elements. Okay. Why? Because we know that term. What is the capacitive reactance? X is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. Now C is equal to 1 by 2 pi F into Xc. If the higher the value of ripple frequency, if the frequency increases, capacitance value decreases. Okay, got it? So that's why if the ripple frequencies are very high, okay, 
then you have to use lesser value of capacitors. Got it? If you use high value of capacitors, if capacitance is higher, okay, ripple frequency get decreases. Got it? Okay, fine guys. So this much is sufficient. I hope you understood uh, how to explain bridge rectifier. See, you have to write diagrams neatly. Understood the concept? Okay, connect anodes at one point, cathodes at another point. Between, connect the diodes in series. Right side, odd numbers, left side, even numbers. The difference between should be 2. Okay, that's the logic to remember the circuit. Otherwise, uh, you will write in a different order. Okay, that going to lose marks. Okay, guys, please uh, give like to this video. Okay, if you understand very well. Okay, if you didn't get, need not worry. You can ask me in the comment. Okay. Comment uh, in comment box you can type it. I missed this particular part like that. Okay, guys. Uh, in next uh, next video, I'm going to upload a next concept, voltage regulator concept. Numericals they won't task on rectifiers. For voltage regulators they're going to ask. Okay. So please share this video as many friends you can. Okay. Uh, make our channel to reach 1k subscribers within a week. Okay. So have a nice day.